Hey guys, little layout update over here. But uh, it's just gonna be about the new locomotive. As you can see, got a Dash 9 over here. Just got it in the mail today, so uh, it's an early Christmas present, but you know, um, you gotta get it all ready, right? You wanna break it out Christmas and start running it. So of course I had to bring it out here and, uh, you know, set it all up to my liking, change all the CVs, momentum, you know, get everything programmed the way I like it here. So uh, we're just gonna fire it up here. I'll let you see it run a little bit and uh, not really a review, just uh, showing off uh, some of the new power that's gonna be running here on the uh, layout here. And just to show you the box over here, here it is. That's what we got. UP-944 CW number 9710. Come back here, it's gonna join the other fleet right here. Got all the other guys hanging out over here. I was actually running a uh, consist with these two guys um, just to speed match them all together. Not that he's gonna be running as a consist, but uh, you know, you never know. He, he might be so much fun to run, we might just do a little switching with him. Anyway, let's get him fired up over here. This is a Genesis 2.0, so uh, it's I got all the little bells and whistles, uh, along with, uh, if you can see right there, it's got a little step way light, walkway light, front and back right there. Also has the uh, undercarriage lights. I'll try to zoom in right there. I got them turned up all the way, uh, but there you can see right there on either side of the front trucks. Looking real nice. It's uh, a lot nicer to uh, program too. So when you take the uh, couplers off, um, they come off nice and easy without too much trouble. And then you got a couple other screws there underneath uh, either side of the fuel tank, front and back. And then one other little additional screw. I'm not sure if you had to take that one out, but I took it out anyway. And uh, the whole pop, the whole uh, shell pops off, and it's got. Uh, Nice little uh, touch connectors for all the lighting, so all the lighting stays in the shell. You can just take the whole shell off, real real uh, easy to work with there. And I did put a uh, Soundtracks Current Keeper in there. Believe it or not, um, it's actually in uh, this part right here. That fits in there nicely. I was kind of afraid it wasn't going to fit because uh, it looked a little tight in there for being a large locomotive, but uh, there's enough room right there. Uh, ahead of the contacts. The contacts for the lighting are kind of like right here in the top of the shell and uh, there's a little contact pad with like six little contacts and there's got little prongs that stick up from the uh, the carriage. Uh, they just touch it once you uh, get the get the shell on there but just ahead of that um, from here uh, plenty of room for the uh, current keeper. All right enough yapping here let's get her fired up here. I'll let you see all the pretty sounds. Oh yeah, sounding real nice. All right, so we got uh, separate illuminated uh, number boards. Go ahead and put those on. Again, I turn up all my lights uh, to maximum. And we got our headlights. We got uh, forward, uh, front side. Uh, I'm losing my mind here. The other lights, <laughs> these two guys. Um, let's see what else we got here. And I got the dimmer on here. A whole bunch of little things that happen if you dim it uh, makes a little radio call i think if you release the brakes it does too or maybe when you apply the brakes and of course then you're going to do it now all right anyway let's uh hear the bell sounds nice we'll hear the horn Stop before. 
before we short out the layout. We'll run it backwards now. So you can see on the back side, you've got uh, the one main headlight and then also got the uh, little walkway, little white light there right by the, uh, the platform. Where it breaks off, let's back her up. Uh, what are these dash nines? I think these had like 16 cylinder engines or something. Sound real nice. All right, one more run by and that'll do it. Uh, pulling into the yard here. We're going to pick up one of these. This will be one of the uh, fast freights coming in here from uh, West Colton. That's it guys, hope you enjoyed that little preview here of uh, what's going to be running on the layout. So I uh, got to wait till Christmas though unfortunately, I got like, maybe another hour before my wife gets home and figures out I already opened it up and started playing with it. So uh, I'm going to go play with it and then uh, box it all up again. Alright, till next time guys, take care. <laughs>